flew from Zanzibar to Kilimanjaro Airport and I was very, very nicely greeted with a nice signboard with my name on it. I was a bit blown away by the van because even the van really stood out compared to the rest of them. And I also got nice tea, coffee, there was biscuits there, there was nuts there, everything you could ask for. Whereas I could see other people just getting sho shoved into these little vans and not taken care of where at least I got to know my guides and get to learn a little bit more about them. I have a surprise for you. A little surprise for you. Uh, here it is. What's this? This is your water bottle. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. Has your name. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I've been planning to do a safari, a real safari in Tanzania for years, many years. And now I've finally got the time to do it. This park was one of the incredible parks because it's a little bit quieter than the bigger parks so you get more opportunity to see the animals. It's Pumba. Oh, we need to get... I can't tell you how comfortable I feel, especially with the guides. Um, so I had Gab Gabriel and I had um, Abby today and yeah, it, they just made me feel so at ease and the knowledge Gorillas, you always have one that's the boss, yes. the main guy. This one's, yeah, we call them uh, territorials, like they have one dominant male. <laughs> they were so fluffy um, with their long fluffy tails. I'd never seen anything like that. They have these beautiful white, crisp white um, tails and they were just sitting there, just grooming each other. It was, it was unreal to see it and see it so close up as well. giraffes, another animal I was dying to see and it was just it was just incredible to see them actually cross the road in front of you, in front of your van and be that close to nature, real nature. It was just, it was mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. But the lunch, as I said when I sat down, I thought I was some sort of queen. Um, had a nice glass of wine, <laughs> which cheered me up. Um, but the food was, oh, it was next, oh, it was just perfection. The food and the setup, I'll be putting pictures up of it, but it was just so romantic. I was sitting in between a uh, um, hippo in the water, three of them, a little school of hippos, as I found out that's what it's called, and some monkeys behind me just playing in the trees and being naughty. And I'm sitting here with this spread of food, this table and sitting and enjoying my wine. It's just, I, when I think back to it, I'm just like, did that really happen? Did I imagine that? Did I dream it? But thank God I've got the pictures and the videos to prove it that I was there. <laughs> it's just incredible. It doesn't seem real at all. I feel like I'm watching a film. feel so peaceful as well. Only the noise of nature. It's a peaceful feeling I've ever had and I get it. I get nature. I get people who want to live in nature all the time because if I could keep that feeling I would be the happiest person. I would be Kuna Matata. Absolutely no worries.